Hi and how are you all today? The question says P and Q are respectively the midpoints of side AB and BC of a triangle ABC and R is the midpoint of AP. Show that area of PRQ is half of area of ARC, area of RQC is equal to 3 by 8 area of ABC and area of PBQ is equal to area of ARC. So we will be proving all these three one by one and let's have a diagram that can model this situation. Now this is a diagram which satisfies all the conditions which are given to us. P and Q are the midpoints of AB and BC respectively. R is the midpoint of AP. And now let us start with the first proof. First part given to us is area of PRQ is equal to half of area of ARC. This is what we need to prove over here. We will be proving it very slowly and then only you will be able to understand this proof. Now, let us start with the left hand side area of PRQ. Now, you must know one of the theorems which says or properties which says that the median of a triangle divides a triangle into two equal areas. Now, we can write this here. A median of a triangle divides it into two triangles first of all of equal area. Right. Now we will be making a lot more use of this property in solving this question. Now here we have started off with area of PRQ. This is P R Q. This is the triangle that we are talking about right now. That is, let us shade it a little. And we need to prove that this is half of A R C and A R C is this triangle. Right, so let us start. Now we can say that PRQ, if you notice, R is the midpoint of AP. So if you join R with Q, QR will become the median, isn't it? So this median will divide this triangle AQP into two equal parts. Let me draw a small triangle that will help you to understand it more clearly. Now this is E, P, Q. We know that R is the midpoint of A, P. So if we join R with Q, Q, R will become the median of this triangle and we can say that area of PRQ is half of this whole big triangle that is area of APQ, right? As we have discussed, a median divides a triangle into two equal halves. So this is half of this whole big triangle. Further, Next, we can say that we have this triangle. Now, I will be drawing small triangles just roughly to make your understanding more clearer. Now, we know that P is the midpoint of AB. 
So if you join P with Q, it will become the median again and it will divide it into two equal halves. So that means this area is equal to this area. So we can say that APQ, APQ that we have discussed in our first part is equal to PBQ, right? So here we can write in place of APQ, PBQ because this median is dividing it into two equal halves and the area of this triangle is equal to this triangle. So in place of this triangle, we can write this triangle. Similarly, we know that if you notice it from above figure only, I am drawing this figure from above figures only, but since it is having a lot more triangles, I am taking those triangles which I am needing in every step. Now, we have this triangle PBC. And Q is the midpoint of BC. If we join PQ, if you notice PQ, it is the median of triangle ABC. Now, APBQ, this triangle, can be written as it is half of PBC, right? So we can write that it is half of area of PBC. Further, now PBC, PBC is equal to APC. Let me draw a diagram make you. Now this is a triangle, the initial triangle ABC which we were having and we know that P is the midpoint of AB. So CP will be the median. Now we can say that PBC is equal to APC. The areas are equal. So in place of PBC in the above step, we can write down a, B, C, right? Further, now A, P, C, this triangle this is A, P, C R is the midpoint and on joining C with R, this will become the median and this areas are equal. So in place of A, P, C, I can say that this is twice of A, R, C. Since in the question, I want A, R, C. That is why I am moving from here to here in order to get A, R, C anywhere in the right hand side. So I can write it that APC which was in the above step can be written as it is twice of area of ARC because it's the double of any of these parts. It can be twice of RPC also and ARC also, but we are taking ARC because in the right hand side of the proof, I want ARC. Now these two will get cancelled out and we are left with half of area of ARC which is equal to our RHS. So here LHS is equal to RHS and hence we have proved the first part. Now let us start with the second part. Here we need to prove that area of RQC is equal to 3 by 8 area of ABC. Or we can write it that 8 times area of RQC is equal to 3 times area of a, B, C, this 8 is be taken on the left hand side. Now let us start with the left hand side. 
that is 8 times area of RQC. Now we can write area of RQC, RQC as 1 by 2 area of RBC. Let me draw a rough figure that will make it more clearer. Here we have RBC, a triangle. Q is the median. RQ, RQ will be the median. So, this whole triangle that is RQC is half of this big triangle, isn't it? So, I can write that this area of RQC is half of this whole big triangle which is RBC. On simplifying, I have now here 4 times area of RBC. Further, RBC can also be written as if you see RBC. Let me draw it. And here I have P. This is R, B, C. P is not the midpoint. Now if you carefully see that area of R, B, C can be written as area of R, P, C. This plus area of this triangle that is R, P or P, B, C. Right? This whole triangle is the sum of these two areas of the triangle. Now, I can write RPC as RPC as half of this big triangle. Half of area of APC. And PVC, this is P B. C can be written as this is equal to APC. So, in place of PBC, I can write APC that are equal. Now, if you take APC common and add 1 by 2 and 1 as it is 1 over here, we have 3 by 2 area of a, P, C. On simplifying, we have 6 times area of A, P, C. Now, if you observe, we have to have A, B, C. So, A, P, C can be written as this is half of the portion of this big triangle. So, I can write that 6 times area of APC can be written as that this is half of ABC. On simplifying, we have 3 times ABC which is our RHS and hence we have proved the second part. Now, starting off with the third part. We need to prove that area of P, P, Q is equal to area of A, R, C. Now here, let us start with our right hand side. You can start with any of the sides. Area of A, R, C can be easily written as half of area of P, C, A. Let's have a diagram. A, P, C, R is the midpoint. Therefore, C, R will be the median. So, A, R, C, this triangle can be written as half of this big triangle that is A, P, C or P, C, A. You can name it as anything. So, this is half of this triangle whose name is P, C, A. Now, PCA
can be written as P B C. Can you name it? Why? Right. Exactly. I know that A B C is a triangle where P is here the midpoint. So P C A, this triangle can be written as equal to P B C as they both are equal in area. So I can write any for we can, I can write PCA or PBC, they both have equal areas. Further, now this PBC is twice the area of PBQ. How? I have this triangle PBC and Q is the midpoint. Now here, if you see, PBC, that is this big triangle, can be written as twice of this triangle as twice of this triangle. But I want PBQ, that is why I have written twice of PBQ. On simplifying, it becomes equal to area of PBQ. And that is the right hand side that we were waiting for. And hence, we have proved the third part also and this ends the session. I hope you enjoyed. Just start from any of the side and take care that you need to reach on the other side and just focus on the area of the triangle that you need. Bye for now.